Hi, I'm Michael Alberg. This is Half Moon Dynasty, and I'm going to be showing you how to ride a shoulder in. So when I start introducing shoulder in to my horses, um, I like to break it up into two simple steps. Um, one being the bend and two being the angle. Um, they're sort of the main two parts of your shoulder in really. Um, so the first thing that I look for is checking that the horse is supple to the inside bend. So I pick up my, my trot. And already in the corners here, look for a little bit of inside position. You need to shorten up your inside rein a little bit. We're not looking to achieve any angle. We're just looking to check that the horse can bend softly. Good girl. To the inside. Again, just check that the horse stays in front of you whilst doing this. Again, just literally asking the horse to flex in front and just trot down the long side like normal. And what you'll find is that horses very often give you already side effects just from the bend. Already with this horse, she's drawing a little bit back on me. So I'm gonna move into rising trot. I'm gonna push the horse forward. That's it. And you can see actually there is a very good example. The minute she went more forward, the bend increased. And that's the acceptance of the bend coming through. That's it. And then I'm going to just check it again in sitting. And I want nothing, nothing to change. I want to be able to take the bend and ride my horse forward. The second stage is the angle. So this I do a little bit off the track to start with so that I haven't got a, I can, I can base the angle a little bit more out in the open. Sometimes if your horse is very new to this, it's actually best to start off in walk. And what you do is you take no bend and you use a little bit inside leg against the side, outside rein against the neck and just encourage the horse to come on three tracks. That's it. And for a young horse, just to achieve three tracks for maybe 10 meters is good enough. So what I'm looking for is I'm looking now for the angle and the angle is, the angle consists of the outside front leg stepping in line with the inside hind leg. So they're on the same track. That's it. And then when you've got the angle, you start introducing a little bit of flexion. and you should have your shoulder in. So once you've got the angle sort of established on its own, you've got the bend established on its own, then it comes time to put the two together. Again, stay off the track. And then your shoulder in there should be complete. Almost, I'll do it on the track once to finish. Obviously, this exercise needs to be performed on both reins, as we have to perform it on both reins in the test, and you need to show that your horse is evenly supple. Very often, what you will find is that the horse will offer you angle on one side easier than the other. And this normally goes with the bend being offered on one side easier than the other also. Um, so what I suggest you do is that you work on the side that is missing. So what you'll find is if they offer you the angle on the right, you'll find probably that they won't offer you the bend so easily. So you will need to focus more on the bend rather than the angle so that the two fit together better uh, and vice versa on the other side. 